Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Dr. Dual Sport here. Say, before you watch, uh, begin watching this series of videos, I just wanted to uh, give you a little heads up. Uh, uh, this uh, video covers our trip uh, to Barranco Cerro de Colbre, which uh, means like Copper Canyon in Mexico. Uh, myself riding the CRF 450L and uh, my son Chris on the CRF 250L. Uh, this is not a comprehensive review of the bike, but it's more of just little snapshots of our experience uh, visiting that beautiful place. And also I will uh, periodically give you uh, my feelings on the bike, uh, you know, how it's doing. So, so that, I just wanted to say that if you're expecting uh, like a really extensive super review, this isn't it. But uh, if you want to ride along with us, you'll get to uh, visit some of the things that we saw that we thought were interesting. Uh, we just got home. We haven't even unloaded the bikes yet. Uh, we actually had, so the little Honda Ridge lines here and then the two Honda bikes are here. Uh, odometer has 2,687 miles on the Ridge line. Uh, well, we were in Copper Canyon. We rode, put four, 500 miles on the bikes and we, uh, so we would ride about 100 miles and then, and then stay in a hotel each night in a, very remote uh, little city. So anyway, we, we stayed in, we visited uh, Creel, Cusacari, Baropias, Eureke, Chinopas, Yuriachi, and Divisadero. Our last day, we've, uh, when we stayed at the castle at Divisadero, we uh, visited the park at Cerro de Cobre. Anyway, it has uh, the longest zip line in the world. It's over, over 1.8 miles long, I think. And you get up to uh, 80 kilometers uh, per hour your speed uh, I rode it <laughs> I actually had to cheat on, on my kid because you're not supposed to ride it if you're over 65 I'm 67 but I did that anyway they have rappelling uh, they have an extreme mountain bike trail uh, it's just it's a neat area uh, the Copper Canyon area I don't know maybe some of you have seen the movie there was a movie out about Born to Run anyway the there was a fellow by the name of uh, his name or nickname, his name down there was Caballo Blanco. And he, he befriended the uh, Tarahumara Indians. He was a long distance runner. And anyway, he, he gained their trust and he began running with them and kind of picked up on some of their uh, secrets. And he started a long distance race down there, which uh, the race they had last year in March uh, in Eureka there, they said they had over 1,000 participants. So, so anyway, that's uh, we stayed the one night there. So anyway, that being said, let's go on to the video. I'll, I'm going to break these up into uh, some uh, not you know not really long videos. Uh, there's a couple of three videos we'll be riding quite a bit. And then there's going to be some odds and ends, and then um, I got like the zip line at the park and some other stuff. So that being said, hope you enjoy. Good morning guys, Dr. Dual Sport here. Uh, this is my first major ride on the CRF 450L. I'm down in Copper Canyon, Mexico with my son Chris and a few other folk. We stayed last night in Creel and we're just a few miles out of Creel on our way to Baropias. But we're going to stop here at uh, Cusacari, and uh, we're going to visit the old mission and a school. And uh, we're going to visit the school kids again. We're going to give them some school supplies and some stickers and candy and stuff. So should be fun. This is a very remote area. The, a lot of... Uh, uh, uh. 
All right, looks like the kids are waiting. There's a mission here that's uh, built in 1800s or before, so we'll see. We'll visit it also. But <laughs> anyway, the kids, they always have a, a good time. Okay, we've passed out school supplies, candy, and stickers. I think favorite thing is stickers and balloons. I'll show you how cute the kids are. What? You got any gum? <laughs> Lots of smiles. They're, they're having a good time and they love life. Too bad we all can't be as happy as, as these kids. This is a beautiful place. This mission is much older than I thought. It was built in like the late 1400s. Jesus Christos. So, anyway, I'll just I'm gonna walk through here. Give you a little peek. It's pretty cool. It's amazing that something uh, built that long ago is still standing today. The floor is a uh, you know rough rough you long lumber. Anyway, this was built here for the Tartahumara Indians. And the guys walked up to the bell tower there. Is that Pretty cool place. It's amazing to be able to step back in history like this. Well, this actually says 1744. So Anyway, that's a long time ago. Fun place to visit. <laughs>